Hey guys, coming to you from the other end of the field here at Tattnall Square Academy. Uh, as for the Trojans' opponent tonight, I don't think it's a stretch at all to say that this John Millage Academy program is a dynasty. Coach JT Wall's team going for a fourth straight state title, but tonight the opportunity to tie an all-time record in the state of Georgia that goes much further than just the past couple of months. Check it out. The streak, the record, the whatever, that it really hadn't been brought up in that locker room at all. These guys are uh, trying to win the next one, you know, and the next one is, is this week, and it's against a very, very good, good tackle bunch. But Friday night's matchup in Macon just won't be like all the others. Yes, John Millage Academy locks up another region title with a win, but also it's 47th straight, which would tie the Trojans with Buford for the longest winning streak in Georgia high school football history. We don't really let up on them a whole lot and uh, we try to focus and, and pinpoint each week because you can get beat each week. You know, a lot, of, a lot of good things have to happen for you to continually win. And uh, we've had a lot of hardworking kids and, you know, the good Lord has blessed us with uh, some, some really good ones. Good ones like the guy who's looking to lead JMA to a fourth straight state title, quarterback Briggs Eady. We're super proud of it. I mean, to not many people could say that you've never lost a football game at all in your high school career. That's the coolest thing. And, and you got all these records that you're competing against and you really just got to put them all away and just play football, really. Every team gets remembered in its own kind of way. And while Briggs and his senior story is certainly still being written, one thing is already for certain. They're a hard-working, um, possibly overachieving group that they really go after it. And, uh, you know, we're not pretty when we get off the bus. We've said that all year. Uh, but we got a, a bunch of guys that'll, that'll play hard. Because this year, the Trojans were left with no other choice, adding Macon's four private schools to the schedule in a new and improved GIAA. I think it, I think it just builds more respect for us. And also, I mean, it's kind of cool to finally play competition, if you want to say it like that. But all the respect that these Trojans need, it can be earned on Friday night. It really doesn't matter who we play. Uh, we take it one day at a time and, and really focus in on who we got. Uh, we know we... This is, you know, our biggest challenge to date right now. So, um, you know, I, I guess that's the way it should be. You know, the last one should be the toughest one. Boy, what an opportunity in front of them tonight for the John Millage Academy Trojans. Over the last three weeks against those new making schools in the GIAA, JMA not giving up more than a single touchdown in any one of those matchups. You heard Coach say it, the fourth and last one. Well, it's going to be the toughest. We'll have the highlights for you coming up tonight at 1135. Guys, for now, I'm going to throw it on back over to you. Hey, how you doing?